pretty pushing you over. <laughs> First sort of proper like fully formed soccer memory is probably like when I was about six and we did this round robin with all the other soccer teams and it was like a five-a-side thing and we got to the grand final and it was I was the only girl in the whole tournament and the boys sort of like looked me up and down and was like oh they've got a girl this will be easy and I was like <laughs> I was like okay inner Fem feminist was born there um, and we actually won so that was good it's just so crazy how like moments like just kind of happen and then all of a sudden you're one place and then you're someplace else like I was literally at work I had a voicemail from like a random number and I was like oh picked it up like listen like hi Charlotte this is Ante Urich this is an EFC coach can you give me a call back I was like <laughs> What? <laughs> told my boss, I was like, the senior FC coach just called me, like, I just need to quickly text him back. She's like, yeah, yeah, all good, all good. And I was like, okay, okay. I had a call from him and, Charlotte, I'm like, yeah, aren't <laughs> I? I'm like, ah. Oh. And it was just like so casual and it was just crazy. And then like all of a sudden it went from just being like a local NPL player, studying, working to like in literally a minute I was a professional soccer player. Like it's just all just be crazy. The first sort of couple of weeks I was like frozen like I was so nervous it was a bit daunting um, but if you actually look at our squad there's a lot of young girls who have actually grown up with playing so in that sense it was you know it didn't take me as long as I would have thought in my first year to sort of like get comfortable and like really start to gel with everyone. Well, they go again McLean frying that one in a beanie trapped it nicely the turn fires what a sensational finish we went into the comp sort of being a young team and there wasn't like as much pressure and I think it's it's sort of easier to play when you're not under that pressure and I think you sort of saw that by the way we were playing the first half of the season like really free we we're all really collabing now that there's all this sort of pressure you can it's like a lot more you know we can't drop we can't drop that silverware now like it's just it's not an option I've always wanted to travel, like I've got the biggest um, travel itinerary on my laptop. Doing it with soccer would just be even more awesome, like I'm such a big Man United fan, um, I would just, I would like, it might not happen but it would be amazing if it, if I was to play in the APL, like it would just be a dream come true really.